Hello, my name is Ochiko. We will install SQL Server 2014 Enterprise. Um, if you have already purchased SQL Server 2014 Enterprise from Microsoft and it's in your machine, you can locate uh, the download here in the downloads folder. If you've not purchased SQL Server 2014, you can get it at MSDN. Um, as a student, it's free. But if you need to purchase it, you need to go to the Microsoft website. Okay? So go ahead and click on Downloads and locate the folder where it is saved. Mine is saved here. Double click on that and double click on this. And double click on this. Now double click on the setup and it tells you do you want this product or do you want this program to make changes to your machine? Of course, yes. Then you wait patiently because it's processing in the background. It doesn't take time. I'm waiting for a dialog box to show up. Yeah, this is it. I'm gonna wait for a while. This is it. Now, excuse me. Some people go ahead, they go to check their system con configuration to be sure that their system can handle SQL Server 2014 Enterprise. You know, Enterprise is huge. So if you don't have um, a large um, hard disk space, don't install SQL Server Enterprise. Go for Express. But if you are, you are a company, go ahead. You don't need to check. Just go ahead and click um, Uninstall. Now, for this tutorial, we'll be installing for the very first time in my machine new SQL Server standalone installation. It's new. I'm installing it new because I don't have any SQL Server instance in my machine. Now, if you have any version or any instance of SQL Server, even if it's 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, it doesn't really matter. So long you have either of these, go ahead and click on Upgrade. But if your machine is a clean slate, is a virgin machine, go ahead and click New, okay? My machine is a virgin machine. So I'll go ahead and click New. Wait for the dialog box again. Now, this will show up. Now, this box is the product key section. So, when you purchased your SQL Server 2014 or when you downloaded it from your student website from Microsoft MSDN, it came with a product key. Go ahead and insert your product key in the field provided under this um, radio button okay you can see that enter the product key i blocked mine mine is already there i don't want you to copy mine <laughs> okay so uh pardon me for this uh notepad uh inscription here okay or insertion okay now you can go ahead and click next now this screen shows up go ahead and click i accept you're accepting the terms and condition for this license it tells you not to redistribute to any other machine and so on you can go ahead go ahead and read everything here when you agree to their terms and condition you go ahead and install if you don't agree you can cancel okay or if you know it's just too small for you to read you can print it it's here print it and read it Hold on, go read it. When you're done, I'm not, I'm not sure how you're going to read all this, but it's not very long though. Go ahead and read and click accept. Some people click on this one so that report will be sent to Microsoft at any time when they are using it, how the product is doing. I won't click this, so go ahead and click this and say next. And then the system is checking for updates checking for download set of files extract set of files just getting ready for installation okay so now it says passed 
setup rules identify potential problems that might occur while running setup the only problem i see here is windows firewall okay so this one doesn't really mean anything you've passed everything except this so go ahead and click on if you don't see this it's hidden just go ahead and click show details and then click next and then select sql server feature installation this installs database engine analysis services and so on and forth and other features okay now if you know exactly what you want as an administrator go ahead and select what you want or as an individual go ahead and select what you want but as for me i click i selected everything as a company i sure do know well you need everything so if you own a company are you installing sql server 2014 enterprise go ahead and select everything because you will need this but as an individual if you don't have enough disk space hard disk space don't install everything install exactly what you want so you select what you want and click next now select named instance and copy this name and paste there you see installed instance i don't have any installed in my machine my machine is a clean slate so when you do that go ahead and click next we don't need to do anything here just go ahead and click next it only shows you everything that will be installed in your machine okay go ahead and click next okay there are two kinds of authentication mode you have the windows authentication which is just an option one option for this one which is this and then you have two modes which is mixed um, the SQL Server and the Windows authentication at the same time. So if you own a company and you are, in, you are installing this, just go ahead and insert a complicated password. But if you are an individual, you don't necessarily need a complicated password because you'll be using it for yourself. But if you own a business as an individual, go ahead and use a complicated password. fill both fields with the same password let it match and then click on add um, the name you're going to be adding here is the name of an individual whom you trust to have unlimited unrestricted access to your database engine okay that that fellow's name will be here so my fellow's name is this check that the system recognizes that name yeah it recognizes it so if, it, if the system recognizes your name it's going to show this but let's say my name is my the administrator's name I have is this you click on check names it's going to show that an object named Dove cannot be found okay so you keep searching you keep searching till you find but I know the name of the person I want to have unrestricted access and so I check on that name the system recognizes that name and then say ok and then click on add current user and say next now this is the previous mode that came with 2012 ok this is the current mode so for 2014 you have the tabular mode Go ahead and click this one and repeat the same process you just read and then check name again and then say okay and then you can see it's placed there add current user and say next now you click on install and configure okay click next now this place says user that users that have been granted permission will have unlimited access to distributed relay 
replay and controller service so the same name you've added previously go ahead and do the same if you have several people you go ahead and keep adding them if you if you have more than three people all those three steps we just took put all three names insert all three names but remember it's only people you trust okay go ahead and insert this name maybe the head the administrator the head administrator go ahead and add their name there and say next the system will fill up the rest because it says specify controller machine name and directly locations so these are the directly locations and this is your name so this is the name of my administrator okay next and then this is a summary of what will be installed in your machine everything here will be installed in your machine you can see how large it is okay then click install but at any point in time you see that this is just too much for your space your disk space or your ram just go ahead and cancel okay but at this point you can click install and then it starts installing it may take some time here it may take about maybe 10 to 15 minutes but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this but i'll wait for a while for it to go oh it's going so fast wow my machine is super and my internet connection is super also this is awesome okay so let's just wait anyway while we're waiting I just want to say something and that will benefit someone wherever you go wherever you meet no matter where the person is from be nice to them smile it doesn't take anything even though you don't know them you're walking by them just give a kind smile even though they don't respond back it wouldn't take anything from you it wouldn't hurt okay nobody's superior in this life we are all humans and we should treat ourselves ourselves right we should treat humanity kindly okay so what i'll do now is i don't think we're going to wait for this i'm going to pause this video and when it's complete i'm going to come back okay okay i'm back but it's still scrolling um okay so while it's while it's scrolling maybe i should entertain you maybe i should sing a song should i <laughs> i'm not sure um what song do i sing okay let me sing michael jackson's song since the whole world everyone on the planet love him you are not alone I am here with you and though you're far away I am here to stay you are not alone okay I'll come back I think it's still scrolling <laughs> okay I'm just checking we are halfway there faster than the beginning and it started so we just wait okay I think this takes up to 15 minutes nobody we don't have 15 minutes to wait on this window so about 20 minutes so it looks like we are the end of this installation already because the progress bar is at the end so we'll just wait a bit here for the next window okay so for some of you it may take 
maybe less than 10 minutes. As for me, it's about 20 minutes for just the installation, this page, okay? Then once this page is done, I think in total, it's about 30 minutes to install this or 25 minutes to install this. version but my friends are telling me to do the live one you can see how frustrating <laughs> the live one is i could use my time for something else anyway it's what they want so i can as well wait so it's okay it doesn't take anything for me to wait i'm just doing it for them come on for the summary page the page that tells me the installation is complete that is what I'm waiting for now and it looks as if nothing is happen happening something is happening please don't click cancel you'll be making a huge mistake if you do that just hang on there and let this thing keep processing the background getting the system ready for this server okay if it's not properly set up then you have to reinstall but just wait patiently you don't you don't have to be impatient with this I am impatient right now, but I have to, I have to wait. <laughs> because of you, I have to wait. <laughs> okay, hang on there, buddy. I saw something moved now. Oh yeah. You see, something is happening in the background. Don't miss that. Yes, I have to come back. Let me pause this, okay? Okay, I'm back again. Oh, yeah. I don't want to miss this action, okay? One or more affected files have operations pending. You must restart your computer after the setup process is completed. Awesome. Okay, so it wants me to restart the computer. You can see for yourself that this is successful, succeeded, 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 succeeded. So I'm wondering, everything succeeded. So for you, if you see that everything here says succeeded, you are absolutely great. So now, I'm not sure whether that works, right? So we'll see. 
so it wants me to restart this system i think i'll have to do that now and so this is the end of the installation so once you see succeeded 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 and you saw that dialog box that tells you to restart your computer go ahead and restart it or restart your machine go ahead and restart your machine so that the configuration or installation will complete itself okay thank you so much for putting up with me these few minutes bye bye